If I sign Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see why is it that your person has walked away from you. So, why is it that they leave you? What was the decision? You know, behind what was the reasoning behind their decision? What is it that you need to know about their departure and then take them taking an exit from your life? This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead, take a look here. This reading is for all Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capis, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Okay, with the page of wands, bottom of the deck, it's kind of like it's the energy that kind of crowns this reading. It's a very restless type of energy, isn't it? The page of wands is not someone who's looking to settle down, okay? Maybe because he doesn't want to, maybe because he doesn't feel ready, maybe he feels like there's so much more of the world out there to see. Uh, maybe he feels like, you know, there's greener pastures elsewhere to explore. And I feel like this is the kind of energy as to in which your person walked away and left okay um it just feels like they weren't ready for all the things that you were ready for i don't think your person was ready to settle down a very restless type of energy page of wands and the fool is a very nomadic kind of energy as is the hermit after all he's on this journey right seven of cups a very non-committal type of energy you're also getting you know the three of pentacles and the three of swords there may have been a third party situation your person may have chosen someone else over you um, they may have been already in a marital status or a relationship with someone else they may have always promised you that they were going to drop the third party for you but i feel like in the end they chose to leave you behind i just feel like your person wasn't ready and i don't think you felt appreciated Maybe there was a point in time where you felt like, you know, your person was meeting your expectations. But I feel like that was very brief and fleeting here. There may have also been a younger energy than yourself. And as a result, maybe the two of you were just at very different phases and stages of your life. You were ready for commitment. You were ready for stability. You were ready to settle down. Your person wasn't ready for those things. It doesn't make them a bad guy or, you know, it doesn't make them a bad person here. It just... The, you guys weren't a vibrational match for each other and look maybe there was a bit of an age gap or an age difference and maybe it didn't bother you but in some ways it was really obvious that that age gap was kind of you know causing a disruption to the flow of your connection you know they still maybe were a bit of a party animal or they still still felt like they wanted to go get out there explore maybe they wanted to do some traveling here instead of um you know settling down it just feels like there was a lack of readiness they may have also been emotionally immature or juvenile here maybe this person ha still had a lot of or has rather a lot of growth and development to do Maybe they still have to get to know themselves a little bit better, discover things about themselves they don't know yet already. It just feels like the two of you were on two very different journeys. And although this person feels like they may have turned and walked away from you, it just feels like the universe kind of ushered them out. The universe kind of showed them the door purely because I don't feel like this is your person. This person has caused you a lot of pain, emotional anguish, heartbreak, rejection, betrayal, Okay, but it just feels like with the Three of Swords energy, this isn't this isn't an emotional state you're going to stay in forever. So if this person has inflicted a lot of pain via their words, intentions, or their actions, you will heal from this. You just have to feel it. Do not suppress anything. Like if you feel angry, 
feel the anger, if you feel hurt, if you feel betrayed, whatever it is that you're feeling, you're entitled to it. So feel it and feel it all the way. Do not suppress it. That's the worst thing you could do for yourself here. Um, you don't feel like you were ever treated as an option, sorry, as a priority. You always felt like maybe they've treated you as an option or you always knew that this person had choices around them and they were never really committed to you or they were, they were never really committed to the idea of this connection or to making things work. There are two sides to every coin, two sides to every pentacle and it just feels like you weren't necessarily on the same coin. You guys weren't, you know, on the same pentacle here. It just feels like you wanted... You wanted what you wanted, they wanted what they wanted. And even though you try to make it work, at the end of the day, you can't force fit anything because it will backfire here. And I feel like the reason why your person here has to, you know, had to walk away here is because I just don't think this was your person. And I feel like the universe here, when someone takes an exit from our life, it's because someone else they create room and they create space for someone else to come along. Sometimes you have to cross paths with the wrong one to, to get to the right one. Okay, sometimes they redirect your path. Sometimes there's sort of like an, an obstacle or a barrier in the way. They do serve a purpose though. Everyone you cross paths with, they teach you things. Okay, you know, everyone or anything that you um, you feel drawn to, it's not random, it's not coincidence, it's for a purpose. And I feel like this person has taught you things about yourself, about what you will or you won't tolerate, maybe has taught you things about heartbreak. I feel like they were also a big part of your healing journey. Maybe they've also sort of surfaced some previous unhealed emotional wounds that you had. Maybe, you know, there was something around this uh, person here. They may have pushed certain emotional buttons here or they have caused certain emotional triggers which have resurfaced some of this childhood pain some of these unhealed emotional wounds here and maybe you know they were i think i feel like they were very instrumental in helping you on your healing journey in helping you on your recovery journey here in also helping you to set up boundaries okay because i feel like you really wanted to make this work here i do i feel like you were someone who was very excited about getting to know them, about, you know, really exploring the depths of this connection. You definitely wanted, I think you wanted all or nothing with this person. But I feel like you guys were just two very different people, okay? Um, you know, you've got the Hermit's energy and the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands, or even like the Hermit and the Fool. To me, see, the Fool is i mean he is who he is right but it is the fool's journey and after he comes full circle i just feel like he kind of steps into you know the the emotional maturity and intelligence of the hermit here but before he begins his journey he he, he is what he is which is you know a little bit foolish here and i just feel like you guys were two very different people um, wanting to very different things here and you were on to very different journey like journeys you know your person was on this fool's journey where he's he or she was non-committal okay they had options they had choices they may have been in a third party situation here they may have been um you know very restless not wanting to settle down not wanting to commit not being emotionally available here and here you were, you knew what you wanted here with the hermit's journey, okay? You were wanting to learn more about yourself in the process. Um, you were wanting to, you know, uh, become a healthy and happier version of yourself and really step into this, your own power here. It just felt like the two of you were on two very separate journeys and you were two very different people wanting to very different things here. And you cross paths because not only do they teach you lessons about yourself or about love, about relationships, about what you will tolerate, what you won't tolerate, about having the need to draw up, you know, healthy boundaries here, make them firm and rigid. But you also taught them things. You are also a part of their journey. Okay. And you also have taught them some valuable lessons here. Two people that are meant to be together, even if they go separate ways if they're truly 
meant for one another, they will come back together. But if this person were to come back together and if the two of you were to make it work, I just feel like there would need to be certain things that would need to have changed. Obviously, this third party situation, if that's what you were dealing with, this non-committal type of energy, it's this emotionally scattered energy. I feel like this person was romantically involved here. I feel like they did have feelings for you. Okay, but it just felt like they weren't 100% sure on you. They were not, not certain. And don't you want someone who's, you know, 110% sure on you? Don't you want someone who knows what they want and they want you and they're so sure of it? Don't you want someone who's going to reciprocate your actions, parallel your efforts, rather than someone whom you, you know, is not giving you the love and the attention that you deserve? I feel like you did try to make it work and something about this connection tells me that it can be fixed. It is repairable. It is salvageable. After all, anything is. But it would mean that the two of you need to come together and cooperate. You alone cannot fix this connection. It'd be unfair. So the both of you need to be able to, you know, want to come together and make it work. Um, if you do... I do feel like there's, you know, a few things that need to be, then there needs to be some inner work, some inner healing, there needs to be, you know, this, the elimination of a third party situation, there needs to be some growing up or some maturing here, so there's a few things that need, and it's not going to happen overnight, right, it, it never does, but I feel like the both of you need to be able to want to work on it, and look, maybe timing is a little off as well in this connection, maybe, you know, they were a little bit young or immature here and they needed to get out there and experience do whatever it is they had to do get it out of the system timing feels like it was a little bit off but if the two people are meant to be together they will naturally gravitate towards back towards one another and if this and if not and if this person took an exit from your life believe it's because the university is sending you someone you know is sending something bigger and better is sending you a better blessing here okay guys and these are your messages thanks for watching and listening appreciate your support by liking sharing and subscribing bye for now